Hi guys, it's me Danielle Denny Buttons and I'm here today with a special request. So I just did a Disney video and someone asked if I could do a spiroglyphics page and I was like, sure, because I've been addicted to these this month. I've done three already. Um, spiral books are super popular. I personally only have the spiroglyphics because they are 100% official and I don't really like to buy unofficial books if I can avoid it. So these are official. They're Disney branded, they're traditionally published, and there we go. So I'm gonna show you, spoilers, I'm gonna show you the back, and we're gonna go through that. This is obviously Disney Villain Spirals. Here we go, here are the spoilers. This book has 20 pages, 20 different villains, and there they are. I've done, I think, five now? Let's see, one, two, three, I've done five, I think. What I use for these, and what we're talking about, I have these gel pens from the Dollar Tree, their Jot brand, which is their brand, and it is an eight pack. And I actually bought four packs of these because each one of these pages takes two gel pens. So I have been going through my pack and just going one color at a time. I'm up to orange and I've taken my two orange that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna just pick a villain that I think will be orange. I'm actually gonna do Prince John as a lion. I can see him being orange. So that is who we're doing today. Um, that is what I use. It, it does, it sucks up that ink. I've also in the past used um, like Sharpies, but for the newer versions, like if you have the original Spiroglyphics, they're even bigger books and the line work is even bigger. So it's easier to use Sharpies in there because there's more space. So um, you could do that in there. I have also used just regular like ballpoint pens and those are good. Like the Paper Mate Ink Joy is a common one because there is just so much ink in these. These are also gel pens, but there's just so much in there. So it's really up to you. I find that these gel pens work the best because of how fine tip they are. And again, for a dollar, it's not a big deal to use. Even I shouldn't, whew, composing self. My only fear is I, even having two packs, that's only 16 and I have 20. So I might have to go pick up a few more packs of these to have on hand. And yes, there we go. So we're doing Prince John. So let's find him. He is page 14. Whoa. All of them are numbered. This is going to be incredibly hard to show. And I will warn you, almost all of this will be in time lapse. This might just be a bonus video because... These take me forever. This will take me all day to do, which is fine, and I've been loving doing it, which is why I am, but I'm just saying it's not gonna be easy to show you. Let's see if I can zoom in. All right, so here are our lines. I'm obviously super zoomed. You'll see that there are two ends. So one end is over here. Ugh, my desk is too messy for this game. And one end is over here. You must start from the ends. If you start from the middle, you might not know which way is which because it, it all ends up as one long line when you start from the middle. So I usually start from one end and I'll go around maybe five, six, seven times. And then I'll start from the other end and I'll kind of keep going. I personally flip my book around a whole ton. And again, I'm gonna do the tiniest bit here. Looks like a lot of very small line work, so it might be, again, really hard to film, but we're gonna try. So what I'll do is I'll get to this area and I'll kind of outline the whole section first. Like I'll outline an area like that, and then I'll color it in. Overall, it's best to use darker colors in here to see the picture. So this, the orange might not be my best move, but again, this was like kind of next in line. So I will show you examples of what I have finished. Then for straight lines, it's almost difficult. It's literally the width of the gel pen. So you kind of have to just trust yourself and go for it. And obviously if it's a little squiggly, it's okay because the overall picture will look good, but you just gotta try your best. Whew, this is a really hard one. It is super <laughs> long line. That's the other thing and my other tip. I turn this book constantly, 
constantly I'm turning this book because you want it to be the best angle. So that makes it not great for filming because of how much I'm moving around. But I like if I want this picture to come out good at all, I turn it a ton. And that's why I kind of do my method of I'll do this line five or six times and then the other line because then I'll have two to do. It'll make sense. It will make sense. I'm gonna zoom back out because I'm gonna forget to zoom in and out. So excuse the shaking. There we go, back to zero. So yes, just very carefully. You might not need to flip the book. Whatever is comfortable for you is what you should do. Sometimes I will like only go down with my hand and I'll flip it so that I'm always going down and then sometimes I'll only go up and it really changes. Sometimes it changes in the middle of the page. It's very strange. But in general, I have a feeling that this one is actually not gonna take too much ink. In general, it's impressive how much ink these outer rings will suck up. Like I'll usually go through my first full gel pen by like this point, so like the first seven or eight lines and then the second gel pen will last the whole thing. So it's interesting. See, sometimes I go up, but you just have to be very careful that you're staying on the right line and you're doing your best. So here I'm at another lump, so I will outline the whole lump and then fill it in and then keep going. And I'll outline the whole lump and then keep going. Noodles is dreaming and making little dream barks. I don't know if you can hear it, but that's what I will do. So as you can see now, we have this empty line on the outside of what we're doing because that is the other direction. So I'm gonna just keep going around this way a few more times before I start that. Let me show you some of my finished pages so we can talk about it. one that I just finished. Okay, so here's a good example. This is the first one I attempted to do. Um, I was really funny because I had Sam pick a random number and he picked 18 and this is Ursula and Ursula is my favorite villain. So that worked out really funny. Um, I originally attempted to use Sharpies, my ultra fine Sharpies. And again, my personal method for this book in particular is I'm kind of doing one color based on whatever their vibe is to me. And that's what I'm doing. So I originally started with my Sharpies and I think you can see the first few lines are this blue and just it just wasn't working. It was bleeding too much for how thin the lines were. It was just taking forever. So I very quickly changed to the gel pens and that's what I did for the rest of it. I'm pretty sad that my Ursula looks a little weird having the outlines like that. You can see, like I didn't get very far with it, but um, yeah, there's one example. And let's see, I did this one this month. So, the thicker lines are obviously where all my ink gets sucked up and then the thinner lines are more background, but I don't know. I love coloring them and then I'll send it to my friend and I won't tell her who I'm doing and then I have them guess and I give like hourly updates to see when they can guess because you work from the outside. So let me see one more thing. Don't move. <sighs> where is it? I was gonna show you my other Spiroglyphics books because I made many mistakes in that one. But where is it? It's missing, guys. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay, well, it's missing, so I'll have to show you at the end instead of now. But yes. Here we are back at this one. I am probably going to go on time lapse. This is basically going to be a bonus video just to show you. So you'll, again, you'll see me flipping this book around, 
there's a lot of really thin lines in this one, so I am going to be very careful. Sometimes if you're impatient or if you're like in the groove and wanna stay on one side, let me zoom back in for another second, you can kind of see that it's every other. So now that I've done this line, I know that it's this line. And then not that one, but this one, not that one, but this one. So if you're in the groove and you wanna try to do those all at once, you can, but you just have to be careful that you're not making any mistakes because sometimes it'll be four really skinny lines in a row and then three super fat lines and you're used to doing the skinny ones. So you might make a mistake and flip it and yes. Oh, there's Miss Noodles is awake now. The dreams are over. So there we go into time lapse and I will show you at the end and talk a little bit more. done so that was fun um yeah so this page compared to a lot of the other ones i almost finished the whole thing with just the one gel pen so that was exciting um i think i might have been able to squeeze out a few more circles from this one but it was getting to the point that it was super streaky so i just moved on to the second one and we got a good chunk into the second one but with some other pages like let's peek at another page that i did Oh, I guess he's the other direction. I did Pete, and if you can tell, there's so much dark lines that I very nearly finished the second gel pen too and almost had to move on to a third. So there's that. I'm gonna talk about this a little more in a second, but I did find my animal book. Um, so another thing, look at the size difference. This is the newest one. Um, well, this there's also Harry Potter in the new size, and this is the original set there were three in the original i want to say it was animals landmarks or i don't know if that was what it was called but famous places something like that and famous people like celebrities so i only have the animals from the original and yes i'm going to put this to the side for a second and show you some stuff in the original specifically my mistake let's see obviously i don't have these tabbed out because i didn't just do any of these but so here's one that i did and i did one direction in a solid gel pen and then the other direction in a glitter i don't know how much it's coming up but that's what i did um that one went fine 
I want to show you the one I made a mistake. This book is so big, I don't want to hit my monopod too often. There's pink. I like to try to just match the color to whatever the image is, but obviously if you're going in without knowing, then you can just kind of wing it. Here's my mistake. All right, so this is like the ram or sheep or whatever, and little Miss Noodles is about to bark at me. I'm filming, shh. All right, so I, I was going along, I was going along, I was going along. I was getting near the middle, and I was like, all right, I'm going to start from the middle and work my way out. And as you can see, I went along the wrong lines because it's not two in the middle. It's only one, so I should have done backwards. So this is all wrong, and this is the opposite order. So that was unfortunate. I think this was my first page in here, too. Uh, here's another crazy one. This is when I was trying to get rid of all my glitter gel pens. So I just like I would do it until it ran out and I don't like this result either and I don't necessarily recommend this because in the front of the book they give you tips on like different ways things to try but this kind of looks crazy. So there's a gorilla in there somewhere and I feel like you can only see him in the purple rose. So I don't know not my best decision but yeah that's the original one. These lines are even bigger, so the smaller the book, the smaller the line work, of course. What do we got? Hold on. Okay, so back to here. So, um, yeah, this particular page had tons of super thin lines, so my line work isn't the best that it's ever been on this page, but I figure I could also show you what I do if I make mistakes. Now, for the most part, do you see any of my mistakes right now? Maybe you do but I feel like once the whole page is done, you really don't notice the mistakes, so it's not a big deal in general. You just kind of notice as you're going because like, you're very focused. Here's one that I can see. I went over the line there, so I'm just gonna take my white gel pen and kind of clean it up a little bit. So this is an Arteza gel pen, and you don't really have to do much, but I do recommend waiting until the gel pen dries completely. Like don't do it right away because that is more likely to just make this be orange now. That makes any sense? So yeah, you can definitely go back and clean up as much as you want. Um, but again, once the whole thing is done, you really can't tell too bad or I can't, or it's not enough to bother me because obviously it's just kind of filled in in the correct shape so like that just looked like it was his nose. So it was just a darker in that area. So I think that's it. I'm trying to look if I see any more obvious mistakes. But yeah, also a white gel pen for me never works over red. Um, it just shows through pink. Obviously that can be better than red, especially for something like this, but it's up to your discretion whether or not it's worth it. But yeah, there we go. So I hope this was helpful. I know it was a little bit hard to see, but um, for me, normally I like, I can't even show you how I normally do it because then you'll just see the whole back of my head. Normally I get really close. I keep the book very close to me. Like if I was doing this without the camera, I would have been coloring this close to the edge of the desk. But so I had to just try my best to color far away so you could see it a little bit. I hope you can. And as you did see, I think I flipped the book all over the place. I'll turn it a whole bunch. And the reason I do my method of like a few rows with this line and then flipping is so I don't have to turn the book as much. And also it kind of helps me because once you get to the middle, if you hadn't done the second line, it's very wide open and it can be hard to follow the line. So that's why I do it that way. But yes, I hope that you enjoyed. And let me know if you want any other videos from me, things like that. And I'll be back again in two days with something different. Bye guys. I forgot a word. If you made it to the end, say lion, please. Also, I have no idea what outro I just did. So, re-outro, like this video, comment anything you wanna comment, including the word lion. Subscribe if you haven't, I'm a fun time. And I will be back in two days with something new, I hope. So there's the new outro. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.